Good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me here in the woods this, tonight on this wonderful steamy hot Thursday here in, in North Carolina. Um, God brought me uh, a word tonight. His word was trust. And and then immediately my thoughts to went to my friends that think and or family can think that, that they could lose their salvation. And I became heartbroken over that because it tells me, and that's exactly what God's, God's answer was. I said, Lord, why do they think that? Why do they think that? He said, it's all about trust. They don't trust me at 100%. I'm here to tell you folks that your destiny depends on you trusting God 100%. Um, so, he... he I got a few scriptures for you. First one is Romans chapter 15 and verse 12. It says, And again, Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. And if you heard a lot of, a lot of your uh, lordship salvationist and your, and your Calvinistic minded folks, um, you know, have you heard us say, well, even even the demons believe. And they really, what they did is they, for me, they really perverted that word. They really twisted God's word. Even the demons believe. Think about what you, you're saying. Because Jesus himself says, believe on me. Trust. Trust is a weighty, heavy, heavy word. That's a big, that's a, that's a big word right there. Trust. Do you trust God tonight? If you if you're thinking that you can lose your salvation, I'm here to tell you that you do not trust God 100%. You do not trust the Word of God 100%, and you don't trust His name. I, do, I, mean, I might sound mean, but uh, it just flat out comes to one down to one word: trust. Do you trust Him tonight? Another scripture He gave me was in Psalms. Or Psalm chapter 5 verse 11 and he says this and trust here can also be a vehicle to re to have joy in your life and to be able to rejoice you know if you if you're finding yourself not not able to have joy and you're finding finding yourself you know depressed all the time can I tell you are you are you did you place your whole trust in the finished work of the cross or are you depending on your works, your your church goings? Are you depending on your ministries to to uh, bring you joy? No, you trust God for your joy. You trust Jesus, His finished work on the cross for your joy. So this verse says, "But let all those that put their trust in Thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because Thou defendest them. Let them also that love Thy name be joyful." In thee. So do you love God's name tonight? Do you trust God's name tonight? Here's another one. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says this. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. So again. Trust. Do you trust in the Lord? Or are you leaning on your own understanding how salvation works? You think works. That it's 90% God and 10% you. It's none of you. It's not, it's not what you do, it's what you believe. Place your trust in the finished work of the cross. It's a serious matter. It is, if, if you're not trusting, if you think you can lose your salvation, I'm here to tell you that you may be in a state of unbelief. Because if you're not trusting, you don't have, you don't have uh, uh, the belief that, um, I had mosquitoes, squatting mosquitoes away. I'm here to, down here in the woods by the creek, so it, it kind of gets, it kind of gets buggy once in a while. But anyway, um, do you trust God? And if, you're, if you don't, you are in a state, as I was mentioning, you are, you're in a state, you could be in a state of unbelief. You know, and it's a serious matter. So anyway, I just want to bring this quick message tonight. And I, I pray that you start trusting 100%. It's not what you do, it's what you believe. Place your trust in, this, in the death, burial, and the resurrection for your for the remissions, for the remission of your sins, past, present, and future. I love you, and God bless. Bye-bye.